Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. And today I've got another one of my handy electrical guides for you. I'm guessing you're here because you want to see how to fit one of these dimmer switches. Well, you've come to the right place because I'm going to walk you through step by step how to change your old light switch for one of these dimmer switches. And there's some simple advice that you need to follow to get the job done safely and properly first time every time. So first of all, make sure that if you're undertaking this job, you're confident and competent at completing basic electrical work. If you really aren't sure, always give a qualified electrician a call. Now before we go touch on any wiring, we'll head downstairs to make sure that there's no power going to the circuit that we're working on and that we're safe to go ahead and install our dimmer switch. So turn off the circuit you're going to be working on. In this case, it's the upstairs lighting circuit. Come and make sure nobody's going to come along and switch that breaker back on whilst you're doing the work. If that is a possibility, put a notice on the breaker so that that cannot happen. Before we make a start though, I want to make sure you're a subscriber. If you're not already, well first of all, why not? Because you're missing out on some really, really great content and there's loads to come throughout 2022. So make sure you're subscribed. And if the video helps you today, please smash the like button because that helps this video reach and help more people like yourselves on YouTube. So hit the like button for me. Right, let's make a start. First of all, grab an insulated screwdriver and we will remove the old light switch. Just remove both screws. And pull the light switch away from the wall to expose the wires inside. You can now use a volt pen or voltage tester to check for any power coming to the switch. You can now be confident that there's no power coming to this switch and we're safe to go ahead. Before we remove any wires, it's important that we familiarize ourselves with what each wire does inside this light switch. So the best thing for a beginner to do is to label what each wire does before you remove them from the old light switch. So first of all, I'll explain to you what each wire does and we can label them up together as we go along. So on our switch here we have common and that's got the live wire coming into it and then our switch live will typically come out of L1. Okay, so you may have L1 and L2. Sometimes you'll just have L1 on your switch. Now if you just have one light switch in your room, you'll only need to be using L1 and common. So we'll go ahead and label them up. Or sometimes it's a good idea to take a photo for your reference later. So let's label these up. Start with our common. Take a small piece of coloured tape, fold it over the wire. Take a pen and write com on that piece of tape. And in this case it's very simple because we only have two wires. And we can write L1 on that wire. And that way we can't forget where those wires came from. So if you're following along, you should now have your wires labelled or have a photo, but at least remember where those wires are going to go. When you get more experience to this and you understand a little bit how the wiring works, you won't need to label them up anymore. But for a beginner, it's really good practice in case you get lost. So now they're all labelled up, we can go ahead and remove the wires from the old switch. So grab a small screwdriver and remove the wires one at a time and just allow the wires to fall to the side for now. We are now ready to install our new dimmer switch, but before we do that, there's some very important things that you need to take into consideration when you're installing a dimmer switch, mostly to do with the type of lighting circuit that you're working on and the number of lights in that circuit and how much load we can put on our dimmer switch because you can get lots of different ones of these and the load ratings are often very different between each one. So if we look at the dimmer switch we're using today for example, its load rating for LEDs is 5 to 150 watts. Now we have 8 LED spotlights in this room and the power draw on those is 5 watts each. So that means that we need a dimmer that can handle 40 watts of load. So it's important that you consider the amount of lighting on your individual circuit. Some dimmers that you can buy are also suitable for two-way light switching, and that will be indicated on the back of the switch where you will see L1 and L2. You also need to consider that you cannot put two of these dimmers on a two-way light circuit. 
So now we've removed the old switch, you can look and see the differences in depth. And you can see that our dimmer switch is about 10 mil thicker on the back. So we need to take that into consideration with our back box. So now we've got the fun safety bits out of the way, let me show you how to install this dimmer switch. So when you look at the back of this dimmer switch, you can see we've got three terminals. We've got L1, L2, and two squiggly arrowy line things. You'll often see them on dimmer switches and they mean common, okay? So our common wire will go where those squiggly lines are. That's this live wire here. So undo the terminal. There'll be a little screw on the bottom. Put our common wire into the common terminal, which is the one with the squiggly lines on and do up the screw nice and tight. Give it a wiggle to make sure it's not going to pull out because sometimes the terminals don't catch the conductor properly. We'll now move on to L1. Place the switched live indicated by L1 into the L1 terminal. Our earth wire is not required because we're using a plastic back box and a plastic faceplate on our switch. If there was a metal back box, you need to make sure you reconnect any earth wires to the back box, but also to the faceplate of the new switch as well. It's worth noting that on older houses, they may have the old wire colors, and that means that your live wire may be red, and your neutral wire may be black. Your earth wire will remain the same. So before we fix this switch in place, just check, give everything a little tug to make sure everything's connected properly. What you can then do is push the wires up into the corners of the box, grab the supplied screws and finger tight first of all, just get them started. There you go, both screws are started, we can now tighten the screws up. If the screws that were supplied with your dimmer switch are not long enough, you can get extended screws from your local hardware store. Now before you fully tighten everything, grab a small level and just check that you've got the switch level. Hold it level and just finish tightening the screws up. If you've got some of these little blanking caps with your switch, just stick them on top of the screws. Once you're happy that your switch is in its final position, we can head downstairs, turn the circuit breaker back on, come back up and give it a test. Okay, upstairs lights back on. Once you've turned the circuit back on, go ahead and give this a test. And there we go, we have light. And that's it, job done. Dimmer fully installed and functional. Thank you guys very much for watching. If you're not a subscriber already, like I said, I've got loads of content to come, so make sure you're a subscriber. If you guys want to see a little bit more about lighting circuits and how to install ceiling lights and things like that, check out my Electrical Guides playlist. I'll link that at the top of the screen now. Also, if this video has helped you to install your own dimmer switch, then make sure you smash the like button for me, because that way more people like you will see this video and it will help more and more people. And last but not least, my only other ask is follow me on Instagram if you haven't already, the DIY Guy YouTube. I'll see you over there and I'll see you in the next video.